Maintaining peace of mind can be difficult when facing financial pressure. Public debt has been an issue since kings levied taxes to repay debts. In modern times, debt to GDP measures a country's public debt as a percentage of all goods and services it produces. For multiple countries, the figures are staggering. Canada is no exception. Our national debt currently stands at $602 billion and counting. A government's main role is protecting its people, which includes fiscal responsibility. History is filled with examples of fiscal mismanagement, leading to political and social instability. If the government is protecting public interest, why this overspending? Why are we in debt? Are governments more interested in us or themselves? Public Choice Economics examines political behavior using tools from economics. Economics assumes people are rational, striving towards maximizing their satisfaction. This is considered true regardless of the circumstances. Applying this way of thinking to political actors gives rise to a sudden realization. Just as in markets, voters, bureaucrats and politicians are self-interested people wanting policies that deliver advantages, money to fund budgets, and votes to gain and maintain power. Some would argue that this view of politics is inaccurate or overly cynical. However, the actions of many political actors make it hard to deny. Politicians often maintain ideological stances to remain in power and please supporters of their party. When it comes to national debt, politicians have an incentive to maintain a fiscal illusion. How? In a democracy, most voters are politically uninformed. This is rational, as getting informed involves a large cost in time and effort relative to the small impact one vote has on elections. Despite this political apathy, voters will support whoever they perceive will provide the greatest advantages, unaware of the costs associated to these promises. Prolonged deficits are the results of government failure when spending outweighs revenues and credit is used to compensate for missing funds. Politicians will support policies that please voters whether or not they are economically sustainable for the nation. The Canadian healthcare system is economically unsustainable, yet it would be political suicide to suggest privatization. Voters will get the services they want now and politicians get what they want. Power. Power. Everyone seems better off but the actual costs are hidden. Benefits are concentrated to current generations, while massive debt is transferred to following generations. This is a fiscal illusion.